Ambassadors from across the nation gathered at Pier A in Hoboken Tuesday night to see Mayor Dawn Zimmer accept an award on behalf of the city for their flood preparedness program. Representatives from the United Nations International Strategy for Disaster Reduction honored the city of Hoboken as a role model city as part of the nationwide Making Cities Resilient campaign. Margarita Wallstrom, a special representative of the Secretary General for Disaster Risk Reduction, explained why the Mile Square City was a worthy recipient of the prestigious award. Three years ago, when I came here the first time and made you see me in a very busy and difficult time for Hoboken, generously hosted it, we came here to look at the impact after Hurricane Sandy. Um, it is hard to believe, but the damage to housing and infrastructure was uh, incredibly serious here. Eighty percent of the city had been flooded, if you can imagine that. Those of you who are visiting from across the river. Um, and people had lost, uh, lost a lot of their assets. The city has come back with a strong vision. Already during that visit, I felt that this, there was a strong leadership here. And the city put in place a strategy, which um, tonight we would like to use as a basis for the commendation of how to um, prepare for, to reduce the risk of, and to engage as a community in an inclusive manner. In the spirit of consultation with the community, the public-private partnerships that we just heard about also during the crossover, um, and exploring and really looking at the investment in infrastructure as a means for resilience and defense. After Zibber and Council President Ravi Bala accepted the award on behalf of the city, the mayor spoke about the community's involvement in Hoboken's Rebuild by Design Integrated Water Management Strategy. A Rebuild by Design Integrated Water Management Strategy builds on our broader resiliency efforts, including a citywide microgrid, resiliency park projects that we are about to break ground on this summer, and initiatives that show individuals in our community, like rain barrel workshops and a city hall sustainable stormwater project, that you together, together as a community, we can all be a part of addressing our flooding challenges. So developing the Rebuild by Design plan was a true community effort. And implementing the plan will be a true community effort. And as Margarita just said to me, we expect this to be implemented. So. Paula also expressed that it will be a community initiative to prevent flooding from happening at Hoboken again. It's truly an honor to have you, you here today and to receive this uh, recognition as a role model city. Uh, Hoboken has so much to offer, uh, rich history, vibrant community, wonderful views as Manhattan, as you can see, bustling nightlife, but that one issue that has plagued us is our susceptibility to flooding. Uh, during Hurricane Sandy alone, 1,700 homes were flooded, eliminating power for approximately 85% of the city for several days. It was at that point that we as a community realized that something fundamental must change to pre prevent this from happening again. This challenge to limit flooding and make our city more resilient is the ultimate opportunity to show our capabilities when we all work together. Bert Conders, the Minister of Foreign Affairs with the Kingdom of the Netherlands, reflected on some of the recent hardships Hoboken has faced, commending both Zimmer and the city's residents to collectively find a remedy for the problem. And I understand you had losses in this whole part of the United States of over $60 billion. Enormous figures. And I'm not even talking only about the money, but of course the distress. The fear, the garbage, the shelters, the people who were in distress and couldn't reach the city. And I think it's a great recognition for you, Madam Mayor, and your community, and uh, of course your council members, to take the initiative and to think, we will never have this again. And it's not so easy to say, because you can start rebuilding quickly, find a few programs, help people. But you took the initiative to do it differently to build back better innovatively and to work something that really inspires me because we're struggling with this in the Netherlands. Ambassadors from Colombia, Peru, and the state of Eritrea were just a few of the other nationwide dignitaries that attended the event. I'm John Heides with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.